Hey everyone, appreciate you tuning back in. This is going to be a lot of fun. We are nearing the end of our Guilds of Ravnica preview season. I know, I know it's sad. I know. I shed a tear earlier. But without me babbling too much here, let's just get into what we're all here for. The spoilers. <clears throat> we do have a few good ones. One especially I'm super, super pumped about. I, I, I've been looking for a card like this, and there just isn't one until today. So here we go. Starting off with Flower and Flourish. On the left here, search your library for a basic forest or plains card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. For one, it's not bad. For Flourish on the right side, creatures you control get plus two, plus two until end of turn. Um, I like this card. I, I, like, I like this card. I think especially in Limited. I think actually it's really not that terrible. There are already cards that do exist in the current standard that do give you plus two plus one for the for the cost of four so this being a plus two plus two for the cost of six i mean it's not terrible but i mean the options are here i mean hey if you get this early great you can go and get a get the forest or planes you may need if you get this later on you you can go ahead and just pump up your creatures i don't see this as a horrible card although i just don't know how much play it's gonna see Guardian Gargoyle. It's a six drop. Flying when Guardian Gargoyle enters the battlefield. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it for each gate you control. Again, this is only going to work if you have a whole gate deck going on. That's the only time this card's probably going to see any play. Drowned Secrets. Deuce drop. Whenever you cast a blue spell, target player puts the top two cards of their library into their graveyard. Now, this card can be silly, especially with Nexus of Fate decks. Um... Because it could work two ways. Because whenever you ca whenever you cast a blue spell, target player. You can target yourself. You can target your opponent. Now you can mill yourself down to a point where Nexus of Fate is easily achievable. And then once you get there, you can just go ahead and mill your opponent out of the game every time you take an, an extra turn. I mean, <laughs> because you're just dropping another Nexus of Fate. So this card is kind of unique. I'm sure there's going to be other ways to use it, of course. Uh, just because, well, whenever you cast a blue spell, a target player puts that two cards. I mean, there, there's other ways we can use utilize this card. Uh, it's going to be interesting for Darcher, especially when you need to dump stuff into your graveyard. Pretty cool card. This will see a bunch of play. Might of Masses. It's a one drop. Instant target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn for each creature, for each creature you control. I think this is okay. Uh, I don't think it's terrible. I do think it'll see a little bit of play. Uh, there are better options already out there, though, which is kind of sad. Like, you get plus one, plus one. Our target creature gets plus one, plus one for each force you control. That is a thing that's out there, so yeah, be aware. Uh, I think that's, well, I don't know. I mean, it depends on how, how wide you're going in a game, I guess. Uh, but Might Amass is okay card. Pelt Collector, really cool card. Glad this got the, re uh, not the reprint. Glad this got a, glad this exists because elves needed something a bit more powerful. And I think this Pelt Collector might just give elves a little nudge in the right direction. It's a one drop and it's a rare. Elf Warrior, whenever another creature you control enters a battlefield or dies, if that creature's power is greater than Pelt Collector's, put a plus one, plus one counter on Pelt Collector. I think that's amazing. Remember, Whenever a creature you control enters the battlefield or dies, not bad. As long as Pell Collector has three or more plus one, plus one counters on it, it has Trample. I think this is just a great card. Overall, it's going to see... Any elf deck is going to have this card in it, for sure. Um, the, the ability to give... The ability to pump up an elf, an elf being a one-drop, and the ability to give your elf Trample all in just one card... That's a big thumbs up for me. <clears throat> Probably one of my more favorite cards I've seen because uh, I have been anticipating putting together a nasty elf deck, and this card just might be what the elves needed. Experimental Frenzy. This card's really ridiculous. It's a four drop enchantment. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may play the top card of your library. You can't play cards from your hand. For four, destroy Experimental Frenzy. Turns out coffee is the weird ant of invention. Well, hot diggity darn. Uh, <clears throat> this card's really cool. This will see quite a bit of play, for sure. Um, just the ability... Yeah, think about this in a burn deck, okay? I mean, it's kind of almost broken in a burn deck. 
Uh, because if you have a bunch of stuff that only costs you one mana, two mana, and let's say you even have like six or seven, whatever, you know, mana already out. <coughs> I'm sorry, guys. You're really quickly able to just drop everything that you're picking up onto the board. Uh, all your instants, all your sorceries, one drop. Oh, here's, let's say you get four lightning bolts in a row. That It's like you just drew four cards. I'm just saying, you know. This this card can seriously go off like crazy. Now, of course, there's not lightning bolts in uh, in standard, but you, you know what I'm saying. Any one drops or shocks or whatever. Um, you can easily just play a lot of cards. This thing, I don't know if it's broke. I don't know. It, it, it's it, it's going to be in a lot of decks, put it that way. Tagic Legion's Edge, three drop. Cool card. Human Soldier, Lejo. We got a Lejo here. Haste with the Mentor ability, three deuce. Prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. Man, this standard's really nutty. I'm just saying, the standard is really, really crazy. There's just a lot of just weird little tricks and like things that just slow things down and then crazily speed things up. This, uh, this standard really got my mind blown, guys. Um, prevent all non-combat damage that would be dealt to other creatures you control. Sure, why not? Go for it. Um, for deuce, Tagic Legion's Edge gains first strike until end of turn to three deuce. So there are cards that, you know, essentially do deal like three damage to each creature, you know, whatever. Well, this is going to stop all that, um, which is pretty nice. Uh, and then that deuce ability, Tagic Legion, Edge gains first strike until end of turn. I like first strike ability. First strike is so cheating. Uh, not cheating, but it's just it's an amazing ability, especially if you put it on a big old flyer or something with death touch, you know. Uh, just, just, first strike's a lot of fun to use. I think Legions will see quite a bit of play. Uh, I'm not sure how much exactly, but it's not a bad card for sure. It, it's it's really a good card. It has haste. It has mentor. Uh, it, it's got the uh, permit all non-combat damage uh, ability to other creatures. Um, this thing's going to see some play. Electrostatic field. It's a two drop. Defender, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, electrostatic field deals one damage to each opponent. I mean, there's worse cards out there in standard right now. We can at least agree on that. Electrostatic field. Uh, it's got the defender and it just the one damage feature for sure, but I don't see it seeing a lot of play unless you're just trying to slow down some aggro deck, maybe a sideboard. I don't know. I just, I mean, if, I don't know. I don't think so. Uh, Camardiri, it's a six drop. You gain X life and draw X cards, or X is the number of creatures you control. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. I think this is a neat card. I'm not sure. It's six to cast. That's the big downsize. Um, but commander players, you guys are going to have just a field day with this. I mean, you gain X life and draw X cards, or X is the number of creatures you control. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. Like the whole creatures you control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. It's really not a big deal, but gaining the X life and drawing X cards, that's where this card is going to stand out. I'm really curious to see how much play it's going to have in standard. Uh, this is a casual player's dream. Uh, I mean, I'm not really sure what else to say about it. Competitive magic, though, I just don't know. I, I doubt it. I doubt we're going to see this make a lot of uh, appearances in anything competitive. Mnemonic Betrayal. Three drop. Sorcery. Exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards. Good. Good. Because that's all we're doing is living in the graveyard. You may cast those cards this turn. Wow, even better. And you may spend mana as though it were mana of any type to cast those spells. Okay, I'm listening. At the beginning of the next end step, if any of those cards remain exiled... Return them to their owner's graveyards. Exile Mnemonic Betrayal. Really cool card, honestly. Uh, not sure just how crazy it's going to be in standard, but this is going to make a lot of appearances and a lot of other kind of decks. Uh, it might see a lot of play, actually. I'm not really certain. I mean, definitely sideboarded because there's everyone's going in their graveyard. So if this card is going to exile all cards from all opponents' graveyards, then we can cast something. I mean... It's going to see some play, guys. Pretty neat mythic. Rhizome Lurcher. That's my first attempt at that. <laughs> it's probably a Zome Lurcher. That's a four drop undergrowth. Lurcher enters the battlefield with a number of plus one, plus one counters on it, equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. 
yeah, I just wish it had another ability, to be honest. It's cool that it gets the plus one, plus one counters, and there's other ways to put more plus one, plus one counters on things that have plus one, plus one counters. But I, I don't know how much play. I doubt it's going to see much play. I mean, it, it, a lot of cards need something else to kind of go with it. You know, like a trample, uh, you know, some, some other kind of ability. You know, even flying or first strike, death touch. This thing's just kind of lacking all that. Light of the Legion, probably your bulk rarer of the set. It's a six drop creature angel with flying mentor. Again, one more time, when this creature attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on target attacking creature with lesser power. When Light of Legion dies, put a plus one plus one counter on each white creature you control. It's a five five. Now, this thing would I would have been sold if it was a five drop. I think that'd be pretty neat. But being that it's only uh, being that it's a six drop, it's a little more expensive. Um, it's just not going to see a heck of a lot of play. Maybe a one of at best in a deck. I just I don't I, I doubt that even will happen. Um, but yeah, uh, casual whatever this that and the other, it'll see some play. Risk factor three drop. This card kind of has me on the fence. Uh, risk factor instance target opponent may have risk factor deal four damage to them if that player doesn't. You draw three cards. With the jumpstart ability, again, you may cast this card from your graveyard by discarding a card in addition to paying its other costs. Then exile this card. Now, this kind of works. It could work out early. It could work out late game, depending how you want to look at it. Target opponent may have risk factor. Deal four damage to them. If that player doesn't, you draw the three cards. <clears throat> so late game... You know, they're probably not going to let you take that four damage if they're low on life. They'll let you draw the three cards. I mean, so that works out. But then, you know, early game, what does it matter if you take four damage, honestly? Uh, a lot of players are like, whatever, yeah, sure, I'll take four damage. But then again, I mean, in the right deck, you know, this could see a lot of fun, honestly. I mean, it could be that one card that just catches people off guard and you're drawing a whole ton of cards and... Or you're dealing the four damage to finish my... I, mean, I don't know. I, it, it, it could I, it could make some appearances. I don't know. I just think... It's a risk, guys. It's a risk. <laughs> Gird for battle. It's a one-drop sorcery. Put a plus one, plus one counter on each of up to two target creatures. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Yeah, sure. One drop. That's cool. Um, I dig it. It's not an amazing card, but it might see a little play. Hazada Marshall. Yeah, whenever Hazada Marshall and, and at least two other creatures attack, create a 1-1 one, one white soldier creature token with lifelink. I can think of worse cards. I'm just saying. It is a one drop, which is not too bad. Um, he does have to attack with at least two other creatures. Maybe pump this thing up. I mean, and then you know, get that little plus one, plus one. Or get the 1-1 one, one, ah, with lifelink. At least it's a lifelink. If it was just a dead, you know, no ability creature, that would really stink. This card would be absolute trash, in my opinion. Just, I'm just saying. Uh, this card is one of the uncommons today that has a better chance of seeing play than others. Charnel Troll. I really didn't take a look at this one too much, so we're going to learn together. For three, Trample at the beginning of your upkeep. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, put a plus one, plus one counter on Charnel Troll. Otherwise, sacrifice it. Reduce, discard a creature card. Put a plus one, plus one counter on Trinal Troll. Yeah, I can see this being some fun. <laughs> I like that it is Trample already. It's a 4-4 with Trample. Come on. As we get, one more time. At the beginning of your upkeep, I'm reading it for myself, thanks. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Okay. If you do put a plus one, plus one counter, okay. Well, let's sacrifice it. All right, so this is going to see... I, I think this is going to see some play. I like the fact that it's a 4-4, man. But the fact that you got to sacrifice that thing. I mean, if you can't really get to what you need to, this could be a problem. I mean, how many creatures are in your average creature deck? 22, 24, you know, in standard maybe? That might be even a little high. I'm not sure. Uh, really depending on what you're doing. But uh, this could be tough, man. I don't know. I think it'll see some play. I mean, a lot. Ugh, most cards are going to see play. Most rares, at least. But I, I don't know about this one. This one seems weird. Discard a creature card. Put a plus one, plus one. Card. I guess that can keep the, the that can keep it going right there. But then again, I mean, you're relying heavily just on one card, you know, to do a lot of your dirty work. Ah, this could be tough, guys. Uh, rock Charger. It's a three drop. Bird flying whenever Rock Charger attacks. Roke. Target an attacking creature without flying. Gains flying until end of turn. This isn't terrible. Definitely in limited. It'd be cool. Uh, outside of that, not really sure how much how much. Uh, play we're going to see. 
Atrada, the silence here. It's a four drop, legendary vampire assassin. Already off to a great start. I like everything about that. It's a three five. The silencer can't be blocked. Oh man, Dimer's looking pretty sharp, man. Uh, whenever uh, Atrada deals combat damage to a player, exile target creature that player controls and put a hit counter on that card. What? That player loses the game if they own three or more exiled cards with hit counter. Wow. This thing seemed, it seems very, very powerful. Um, I tried to owner shuffles to try to own his library. Oh, man. I, what's your favorite card from today? I think, well, actually, we've still got one more, I think, after this. This one is probably one of my favorites, though. Very powerful. And you guys know I don't really care much for black and blue. I, it's, just a, it's just two color combos I just don't like playing much of. But there is a lot of fun cards, a lot of very dangerous cards that we've seen uh, that are coming out of Dimer. So this card looks like fun. Winning the game like that? I mean, oh, my gosh. Looks really cool. Dawn of Hope. This is my favorite card. This is my favorite one from today because you guys know I like to build some fun little kinky life decks. And uh, this one's going to make that deck all the more kinkier. Dawn of Hope is a two-drop. Whenever you gain life, you may pay two if you do draw a card. There are not... I don't believe there's any cards already out there. Whenever you gain life, you can draw a card. If there are, there's usually some crazy setback or something. I don't think there's any. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't think there's any out there right now, though. I honestly don't. And this one is one. And for just being two to bring out, that's amazing. It's got to play two colorless. Uh, and then for four, create a one one white soldier token with lifelink. I am all thumbs up. This is my hype card right here. I'm all about this card right here. I think it's uh, one of the best ones in the set. Uh, especially with the life gain. Um, I just love abusing life gain. So yeah, there there it all is. I mean, hey, argue with me, that's fine. Yeah, it might not be the most amazing, incredible card ever, but it's a way to just draw more cards. I mean, there are decks that can really use this, and uh, I'm sh I'll am i be sure to make a deck to show you guys how we abuse this kind of uh, uh, ability. All right, uh, definitely always please take a second to hit the thumbs up button on the video, if, especially if you made it this far. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, these videos, believe it or not, they do take some time to put together, guys. Um, and, uh, yeah, thank you, for, uh, thank you for watching, and as always, PLA.